What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So this video is for all of my parents, my parents to be, or just anybody who's interested in the topic of baby sleep. And I'm going to be sharing some things that I did to get my newborn baby to be sleeping by three months. She was sleeping from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. and it was a complete game changer. So when I look back to that postpartum period, especially those first three months, I will say nothing could have prepared me for what it was going to be like to be living with no sleep. We had read the books, we did the courses, we watched the videos, we talked to other parents, we got advice, and even though they would jokingly say, enjoy the sleep while you can, ha ha ha, I don't think anything could have prepared us for the level of sleep deprivation that was waiting for us once we brought her home. It was next level. And in addition to not sleeping, you've just had a baby. You know, your body has gone through it. So you have to sleep. You have to rest because we know when you're resting, that is when you're healing. But it's like, how am I supposed to rest when my baby's up every hour or every half hour, every two hours? And what's more is that if you are a new mother and you're nursing, that sleep deprivation is compounded by the fact that you are putting your body under more stress, under more demands. You have to nurse your baby and you have to do that every so often. So it's a lot. And the sleep deprivation really took a toll on me, took a toll on my husband. So we made the decision that we were going to do what we had to do to at least try try to get our baby to sleep. And these are things that we did. And once they worked, it was a complete game changer. I was happier. My husband was happier. And I think my baby was happier because who doesn't love sleep? I'm sharing these things with you in hopes that they will work. But you know, what works for me isn't going to work for you. And that's okay. I'm sharing this in hopes that it will work for at least one person. So here's some things that I did to get my newborn baby to be sleeping through the night by three months. First thing I did was established a routine and it wasn't anything complex or crazy. It was super simple, something I felt that we would be able to do every single night, something I felt that we could do quickly and just something that would eventually signal to her little baby brain that it was time for sleep. So in the very early days, it wasn't anything crazy. Like I said, it was just us wiping her down, giving her a warm sponge bath, maybe massage her, stretching out her little limbs. I would feed her, give her snuggles and kisses, and then lay her down. Of course, in the early days, this produced no change. She was still up every hour and a half to two hours to feed, but eventually she did get the hang of it. She did get the hang of the routine. She knew that as soon as we go into the bathroom and the water is running, bedtime is coming. And even now, she's almost 18 months old, and we still do a routine. We have a routine, and it has, of course, evolved a little bit. We do it every single night, and in a in addition to the other things that I'm going to talk about, I really do feel that establishing a routine early is absolutely crucial in helping your baby sleep and helping your baby get the hang of sleeping. So if you can, I would establish a routine and establish that early. And remember, it doesn't have to be crazy. You can keep it simple. The second thing I did was I made sure that she was getting full feeds during the day. So I really focused on her feeding schedule and I wanted to make sure that she was full, especially when she was nursing. My baby, like many other babies, had a tendency to fall asleep on my chest because they're just so warm and they're so comfortable. And in the very beginning, I would leave her sleeping. But eventually I just learned that I got to wake her up because she has to feed. She has to get the full feed. This often involved me making her uncomfortable, whether that was, you know, tickling her foot or undressing her or laying her on my chest with no clothes on. That would make her a little bit uncomfortable and she was more likely to stay up during the feed. And in doing that, she would get more full feeds during the day that increased her chances of sleeping throughout the night. So focusing on her daytime feeds leads me into my next point. So we really focused on her wake windows, her nap time, just building a routine around that. So there's so much research that you can find online in terms of what the appropriate wake windows for babies of a certain age are. So we definitely stuck to wake windows. It does seem like so long ago, but I want to say for a newborn baby, the wake window is about 45 minutes. So we tried to fit what we needed to do within that 45 minutes and then made sure that we were putting her down to sleep or rocking her to sleep by the end of that 45 minutes. We also wanted to make sure that she wasn't 
getting too much daytime sleep because a baby who is undertired is just as bad as a baby who is overtired. So it was really about finding that balance, which took some time, but eventually we did. We weren't able to do this without building a routine around her wake windows and her nap time schedules, making sure that she was getting sleep during the day, but not too much during the day. It was really just a fine balance and eventually we found that. The next thing I did was focus on the sleep environment. So even in the early days when she was sharing a room with us and in a bedside bassinet, it was really important that we kept the room dark, we kept the room cool and quiet. Even when she was waking up in the middle of the night to feed or to have her diaper changed or to just fuss because she wanted to be held, we still kept the room very, very dark. We kept the room quiet when she was waking up at those times. We weren't really talking to her, engaging with her. And if we were, we were just whispering because we still wanted to maintain that environment of sleep and not have her fully awake. And on top of that, we kept the room cool. So we did some research and we determined what the suggested temperature for a newborn baby was. I think it was 18 to 21 degrees, but of course it varies with where you are, the climate with which you're in. Yeah, we focused on keeping the room cool enough and we focused on what she would be wearing to bed. So I had this tendency in the very beginning to want to wrap her up in everything, you know, make sure she was so, so warm. But I think this was working against me and it's also not the safest. So it's better for a baby to be cool than it is for a baby to be hot or warmer. We really wanted to make sure that the room was cool enough. And I think that in focusing on all of those things, that's what helped her eventually get the hang of sleeping through the night. Lastly, I really focused on easing into it and following her lead. So I made sure to tell myself that here's this little baby who's been living inside of me for nine, 10 months. I give birth to her and she's just figuring it out. She's figuring out how to survive and thrive outside of my womb in the world. And that's gonna take some time. I didn't put any pressure on it. My husband didn't put any pressure on it. We just followed her lead. We knew that eventually she would get the hang of it. So even when we were doing all of those things and we're putting her down and for weeks, she's still getting up what seemed to be every hour, every two hours. Eventually she did get the hang of it. And I do think that is because we eased into it and we followed her lead. So I do want to stress the importance of just taking it easy, giving yourself some grace, giving your baby grace and believing in your baby that eventually they will figure it out. So there you have it guys. Those are some things that I did to help my baby to sleep through the night from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. I really do hope you'll try it and I hope that you are successful with it. If you do have a baby who's sleeping through the night and you have have some tips that I haven't mentioned, I would love to read it and I'm sure others would love to read it as well. So please leave a comment. And I want to end this video by saying that the norm is for babies to not sleep. So if you have a baby who's not sleeping through the night, that is absolutely normal. You're not doing anything wrong. In fact, you're an amazing parent and you're doing great. But if you do want to just see if your baby will sleep through the night, feel free to try and come back and leave a comment. I want to know how it worked for you or if it didn't. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you in the next video.